Today we have here the Super Smash Bros. Rob, Mr. Game & Watch, and Duck Hunt Triple Pack. Or as the fans call it, the Retro Triple Pack. This pack is exclusively available only at GameStop in North America. And I was lucky to get my hands on it today. I didn't even pre-order it, and yet they had some left, and I decided to pick one up. Wasn't really planning on getting these, but I figured, why not? It's a pretty cool pack. Of course, you got the Mr. Game & Watch with the multiple poses down there. So you can see, this is how it is packaged. And as of right now, these are only available in this triple pack. And I have a feeling maybe someday we will see Duck Hunt Dog and Rob available, but something tells me that Mr. Game & Watch, I think the only way you're ever going to get him is in this triple pack. Anyway, we look at the back of the package, we have ourselves basically all the information you'll see, like level up to 50, and level up to 50 with Mr. Game & Watch, as well as showing you how to switch out to poses. And we also got the Duck Hunt Dog right there. Level up to 50, blowing away Yoshi. And there we have all the information. Supercharge your gameplay, collect, customize, and complete. Yeah, and all the official stuff. So, of course, I'm sure if you're an amiibo collector, you're probably drooling over this right now. And of course, we're gonna open this bad boy up and take a look at each amiibo figure in better detail. Right, so here we have our three characters outside of their packaging. And yep, they look pretty good. And surprisingly, before we get on to the review, I actually want to talk, talk about Rob for a second here. He actually looks like he's a very solid piece, but surprisingly he's actually made of a more hollow plastic in the base, as well as this upper area right here. So, that's something you might want to be aware of, but anyway. We will start it off with Mr. Game & Watch himself. A lot of people always wondered, how is the Mr. Game & Watch amiibo going to be executed? A lot of people thought he was just going to be a piece of paper on a base, but as you can see, he is a, basically a thick piece of plastic. And it's pretty nice looking, I mean, certainly pretty interesting. There's his pay, base right there, sorry my bad. You can see how... He's nicely sculpted. They have the nice silver outline around the figure. See how the light shines on him like that. And over here we have his extra poses which are packaged underneath the amiibos. And there we have the parachuting, we got the hammer, and then we got his little bell thingy. I don't know too much about Mr. Game & Watch, but I know he's a very old retro character. A lot of fans definitely love Mr. Game and & Watch and overall he's a very, very nice piece. And I'll show you how to switch these out just now. We're gonna move on to Duck Hunt Dog first. Then we got the Duck Hunt Dog. And basically he is the amiibo I was looking the most forward to. And yeah, I'm actually very impressed with how he came out. Uh, let's see, taking a look at this guy. I just got these, so I'm also looking at them out here. You can see how the, the support stand connects to the dog, as well as the duck. See, the duck's flying above him. This is a really nice looking piece. Yeah, the paint on him is very clean. He's got a nice red in the mouth going on there. He has some shading in the inside of his mouth, if the camera would focus, oh dear, there we go, look at that, his tongue nicely painted, he's got nice paw prints painted, you can see his eyes, good old duck hunt lazy eyes, he's got those spots, and then we got the duck, which is just very nicely sculpted and painted. Very nice. Really like this amiibo. Oh, let's not forget about that collar. Look at that. They use metallic paint on this little spike collar. Came out very nice and clean. A little hard to see there with the shadows going on, but that is very nice. 
It's Duck Hunt Dog. And now, we will move on to Rob again. Of course, I mentioned already how he is hollow here in the base as well as this upper area. Just wanted to point it out for those who get him in hand. It's because when as soon as I saw Rob, I imagined him to actually be a much heavier character, but surprisingly, he's actually pretty light. Which is not that bad, but he actually still is a very nice looking amiibo. We can see his eyes. Look at those eyes. See that? It's like a nice transparent bluish purpley color going on. His arms are a nice metallic silver. And even the little light on top of his head is like a nice transparent red color. So that's really nice. And he got this wire connecting to his back and his body you got all the little works going on there like there's the there's the little switch and it even says on and off there and even on the front really hard to read that out but it says Rob and it says Nintendo is this same Nintendo let me see it says robot operating buddy Nintendo so all that's on there so pretty nice it's like a nice replica of the classic Nintendo accessory I feel like they should bring Rob back. I think that'll be pretty cool, but anyway, that is Rob and the Duck Hunt Dog and Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah. Really cool amiibos. Now I'm gonna show you how to switch out Mr. Game and Watch's poses. Alright, now we got Mr. Game and Watch and his little poses. So to take him out is really easy. All you gotta do is just lift him up and just like that. He's off of his base. And hey, look at this. It's like a nice, clean base. If you ever want to do like customs or something, this seems like a nice base to use. Anyway, we're going to look at his first pose here where he's sort of ringing his bell. See if we get that pegged in there. Hang on. You got to do this with one hand. I don't got a tripod, so. Oops. Hang on. I think I put this in wrong. But you can see how. The base has like two slots. You gotta line these up. There's a short one and a long one. So let's try this again. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. We got him in there. So there's Mr. Game and Watch ringing his little bell, letting you know that time is up or the event is over or something like that. This is probably my favorite pose. Anyway, let's take him out now and look at Mr. Game and & Watch and his hammer. I think it's called, what is it called, Judge? Is that what it's called? I can't really remember, but there we go. Get him on there, okay. There he is with his hammer. And there in the, oops, sorry. And the number that he usually holds up indicates, like, his power. Nine, of course, being the strongest so obviously if anyone gets hit by this it's gonna do some damage but you basically see when you rotate it this is what it looks like from the other side it's pretty nice and now we got the Mr. Game and Watch and the parachute just like that there he is that looks really nice as well of course, the support stand may bother some people. It's like a black color. I think it looks pretty good, although I think it would have been nice even if that was also sculpted in the transparent color. But that works too. So there's the Mr. Game & Watch parachute. And then, of course, it's easy to just switch it back to the proper pose or his simple pose. Which is just like that. There we go. So you definitely get your money's worth for a two-dimensional figure. These are all just simple plastic. Hard plastic. It's not like a rubbery piece. These are hard plastic. So that is your Retro 3 pack. Exclusively at GameStop in North America. I don't know... Um where these are sold in other countries but I know that the Japanese Rob does have like red arms to represent like the Famicom system or whatever it's called I can't remember but there we go that was my first attempt at reviewing something and I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I was kind of stuttering there and 
stuff, but eh, not bad for a first shot, I suppose. Just wanted to show off this amazing triple pack. This will make a nice holiday gift if you guys can find any. Recommend you check out your local GameStop. They might have one of these left or something. I mean, like I said at the beginning, I simply walked into my GameStop. Or not even my GameStop. It's just like one that's nearby me. I never really went to it too much, but I just walked in there. And they had four of them left, and I picked one up. So I, did, I didn't even have to reserve it, and I, yeah, I got it. So yeah, I stutter a lot. But that is it. That is the end of this review. Hope you guys have a good one. What about that? Looks like you're still watching the video, which obviously means you actually didn't uh, click out. Well, I just wanted to add some extra mentions, and that is that I didn't notice, but the 9 on Mr. Game & Watch's thing here, if you actually rotate them the other way, you see that? The 9 actually stays consistent. That's a nice touch. I didn't even notice that, so that's pretty cool. And also, Rob should mention Rob if the camera would focus come on camera come on the camera doesn't want to focus but if you look closely there he's like floating on his base so he's like sort of floating but they did sculpt like the the thrusters down there it's just unfortunately the camera doesn't want to focus darn camera but I just wanted to add that some extra mentionings at the end there anyway have a good one. I think I found some secret cheat codes. Maybe this is how you unlock Ridley. The secret code, it's right here. A, A, B, Y. A, A, B, X. A, A, B, Z. Unlock Ridley.